Hello, I'm Marcus Riccelli, your state representative from the 3rd District, serving Spokane, the heartbeat of the Inland Northwest. I'm coming to you from the state capitol, where we're at the halfway point of the 2017 legislative session. Every year, individuals and groups make the trip from Spokane to Olympia to meet with me, but I know many folks aren't able to travel all the way over here. Emails and phone calls are a great way to get in touch with me, but I think it's also important to meet with constituents face to face. Nothing beats a live town hall meeting where people can discuss issues and come together as a community. Town halls are an important part of our democracy. They enable elected officials to hear directly from the people they represent. In the third legislative district, we have a proud tradition of town halls. And I'm pleased to announce our next town hall meeting will be Saturday, March 11th from 9.30 to 11 a.m. It's gonna be at the Washington Cracker Factory on Pacific Avenue. The address is on your screen. I'll be there together with my seatmates, Representative Tim Ormsby and Senator Andy Billick. In addition to taking your questions, we'll have updates on legislative issues that are important to all of us. Across this state and our nation, people are eager to engage with their elected officials. My seatmates and I welcome your participation and the opportunity to hear directly from you. We're not running away from town halls, we're embracing them because that's what we should be doing. So mark your calendars and come to the Washington Cracker Factory Saturday, March 11th at 9.30 a.m. Between now and then, I'm working long days here in Olympia, passing legislation off the House floor, ahead of our March 8th cutoff deadline. That's the deadline for bills that originate in the House to be voted off the House floor to continue on in the process. Hundreds of bills are introduced every session, but to become law, they have to pass both the House and the Senate and be signed by our governor. Of the hundreds of bills introduced, only a fraction of them end up making their way all the way through the process. And that's how our democracy works. So I'm happy to report my bill establishing a grant application process for schools to upgrade their kitchens and cafeterias is moving on to the Senate. We have an epidemic of diabetes and obesity among our children. Our schools should be able to offer nutritious meals and snacks using more fresh produce and ingredients from local farms if possible. This bill is about helping schools afford equipment they need to make more meals from scratch. Another one of my bills still moving along in the process would prevent landlords from discriminating against prospective tenants who receive housing vouchers or other subsidies. With rising homelessness rates, and a shortage of affordable housing in our state. This bill removes a barrier to housing that disproportionately affects people of color, single parents, veterans, people with disabilities, and domestic abuse survivors. I'm hoping it'll pass the House this week. And I hope to see you at our March 11th Town Hall. Let me know what's important to you. My contact information is on the screen. Call or email my office. As always, it's an honor to serve you.